What's up guys, Bag2K1, and as I said yesterday, today I'm going to be doing a review on the Series 2, I believe. Um, yeah, Series 2 soda action figure of Blanca, the blue variant. Anyway, uh, I just got this figure, like, like, I don't even know right now, uh, it's like two days ago. Um, so, I, I don't even remember, because I'm an idiot, but, anyway, um, I'm gonna do a review on it today, and I was messing around with it a bit yesterday, I wasn't playing with it, don't worry, I know you, all you collectors will probably get pissed off at that, I'm probably gonna use this for a display, and if I wanna mess around with it, then that's just me, but, I don't care what you people say, I'm gonna do what I want, so, this figure is, uh, it was actually kind of cheap. I got it at not bad of a price, so, you know, it was a good, it was a good deal on Amazon. Pretty affordable on Amazon for all you people that are a fan of Street Fighter or Blanca himself. Even though he is not a popular character, which doesn't really make sense because he was one of the original 12, I suppose, on, uh, Street Fighter 2 when, you know, he was in the beginning of Street Fighter 2 and whatnot. So I don't see why it wouldn't be popular. Because they never really use them in too many games either. Anyway, enough talk talk there. Enough talk about um Blanca himself. Let's take a look at the action figure. Um it's a good size. Um you know, yeah, his like uh size is a good one. Like he's a good size compared to like other ones on well I'll show you at the end of the video with the comparison with my other soda figure, but he is a good figure. He's very super badass. I I actually adore this figure. Probably one of my personal favorites because he's really detailed, and I like Blanca because you know he's one of my favorite Street Fighter characters personally. Let's start off with his accessories. To start off, he comes with. An alternate head. Oh shoot! <laughs> Sorry about that. It's just, you know, there's an there's actually one thing about the standing I'll have to mention eventually. Drop one of the items. Anyway, so he comes with an extra head. Uh, this is more like a pissed off look, and you can see all the detail and teeth right there. Very nice. There's a little shading in his hair too. His other head is just more like a uh, normal head sculpt, is like a grimace, just his normal look. So yeah, he comes with two closed fists, which are also very nice. The nails look very good. So there you go. So there's the fists. And when it comes to other accessories, he comes with a watermelon, which has been bitten. Or, in, you can still eat in case of Blanco wants to have a little snack. <laughs> also, the seeds are different colors. A couple are white, a couple are black. Very nice detail on it also. Very smooth right here. Damn it. Um, pineapple, once again, very nice detail, and actually the green part is, uh, rubber, if you can see it there, so yeah, it's rubber, like the pineapple, and a very nicely detailed skull, I don't know why, but still a very cool accessory. There's actually a pretty good use for this skull, which I'll show you in a second. I've done this a couple times. Mouth doesn't move or anything, but very nice. Alright, so let's get a look at Blanca himself. Let's get him into normal standing position here. So, here's Blanca. 
Um, of course, the blue variant. Like one of the players' alternate cost, like one of the alt players' alternate um looks, because you can't have two green blancas. So it's just be weird. Um, also uh, with the other variants, there is the olive variants, which a lot of people call it, which is really just the GameStop exclusive. There's the normal orange and green one. There's the glow in the dark, bleh, glow in the dark one. Um. And then there's the alternate version of this, which has yellow skin and blue hair. And I think that's it when it comes to Blanca figures, and then there's this one. If I'm missing any, just put it in the comments, but I think I got them all. So, let's get a close-up look at Blanca himself. Um, you can't see it very well, but I don't know if you can, but he does have a little bit of shading in his hair, just like the alternate one. It has a little bit of a brown in it. Just to make it more dirtier, I suppose. Here's a close up at the face. You can see more detail in the teeth. And, uh, you know, the head sculpt looks. All, like all the head sculpts for Soda, Soda look really good. They really don't ever disappoint. The uh, paint job on this guy is also really good. I've never actually seen the blue Blanca in video games before. So I mostly see the uh, yellow skin one, but this is a nice paint job when it comes to this Blanca figure. Like it has a good blue to it, and the sculpt to it is very good too with the hair. I'll show you the hair right here. Once again, more shading like the hair. Here's the chest hair right there, and on the shins too. So let's get a look at the uh, claw. This one is like kind of a grabbing kind of claw. There's the detail and the nails right there. Sorry if the quality is bad, but you can probably see how it looks. It's like all uh, brown and stuff. Here's the other one, which is more open. Actually, I'll I forget. So here are the, his uh, pants. They cut it to the color gray on here to make it ripped. Once again, nice another paint job right here. They didn't color it in the belt, which is kind of stupid, but it's it still matches in. It still looks great. So I like that. So here, once again, is the hair on the shins. And the shackles is more like a uh, shiny brown kind of color. It's like copper. It's got the uh, chain right there. Like where he used to be chained up like an animal. Who apparently tried to hunt for food. Or, yeah. So, here's that. And, uh, let's get, let's actually go down a little bit. Let's get a look at his feet right here. You can see his nails. I like the toenails better than the fingernails because they have more detail into them. Like, here's a close-up on them. So I like that. And, uh... Also, on the bottom of his feet, you can see that there's like a bunch of markings because of walking in the rainforest. And there's actually on the side, too, you can uh, see right there. And uh, a little bit on the heel, too. So there's that. Now let's go over the articulation for this guy. His uh, head moves uh, side to side, up and down. You can basically move it any way you really want to. Um, his arm goes up and down. 
And, uh, yeah, it just, once again, you can move any way you want. I'm pretty sure it goes 360. His, uh, bicep has articulation right there. His, uh, elbow. That's as far as you can put it. He has wrist movement, hand movement. Um, he has some torso movement. I want to mess with it too much because mine's uh, a bit stiff still, but you can still move it. Actually, I'll put it like this. Actually, uh, I, I forgot to show you this one. Here's the abs real quick. Just to show you how good Soda did with the sculpting on this guy. So his legs, they can go like that and up and down. At the hip, well actually this was the hip, sorry. At the thigh, like at the top of the thigh, it moves like that. He has a double joint knee. Hold on a second, I have to fix this. This one's better for now. So there's the double joint right there, you can see it. In our view. And actually, one thing about the legs is that they can sometimes be very loose with this guy. So just the caution if you get one of them, they're just like, they can get very loose quickly. Like, mine's not too bad, but... I still want to be kind of careful. He has ankle movement. Hold on. <clears throat> so he has ankle movement. Um, I read online, like, he has this, like, weird articulation, like, right here. This would normally help with, uh, articulation. And what I read, this was supposed to be the soles, like, the... For this guy, it would be the articu articulation in the soles. Sorry if I keep messing up. So, I guess... Soles. Uh, I hate... Like, you can't move You can't move your soles, but... They, there's a reason you they do this, is because of articulation. So, that's another good detail. Because, if you, if you just want to put it like this, they're just probably going to fall over. But, like... If you do it like this, then this would be, uh reasonable so just yeah and then finally we got toe movement yeah. so there's all the articulation for him so let me get my guile figure real quick cause that's the other soda figure I got So here's the uh, other sort of figure I have, Guile. Really, like, he's a lot smaller than Blanca, so, like, it's kind of weird touching a Guile figure when you just got a Blanca figure. So, here's the height difference between both of them. Obviously, Blanca is the tallest of both of them. So yeah, here's a back of, on the Blanca figure right there. Now I'll show you what he looks like with the alternate head and the uh, fists. So that's what he looks like. I'll show you the fists too. So here's what he looks like with the fists in. But I have to take out the left hand for a second because I wanted to show you something with it. Yeah, so let's put Gile to the side for a sec. 
Now, if you guys are familiar with Shakespeare, then you obviously know what I'm going to do. Here's the skull. That you can put them in a decent position right here. Unless I got to get them in the right pose. So there you go, uh, this is just an example, you can basically have them in the Shakespeare pose because it comes with the skull and that's if you get them in loose and you can't really do anything with him, but if you have the skull and you got the whole thing, you can basically do Shakespeare's uh, thing. So Blanca's trying to be like Shakespeare, I actually posted uh, some about it, but like, you guys probably won't see it. Anyway. Um, so this has been a, uh, Blanca figure review. If you guys want me to, I can review Guile if you want me to. I don't know where most of his accessories went, because, you know, I kind of lost them over the past, but... I think I know where they are, and they're probably okay, they're just somewhere else at the moment. So, thank you for watching, um, highly recommend Blanca. He's just a great figure. Doesn't matter what the price is, just get them. I highly recommend this figure. Um, you can get any figure you want, really. Like, I've seen a bunch of pics of them before. They all look really good. Um, I got this figure because, one, he was the cheapest, and two, he was in box, and three, why not? I mean, he, he's a cool figure. So, if you go, just go to Amazon and get him. I mean, he's just a great figure. Like I said, highly recommend it. Put in the comments below if you want me to review Guile. Yes, I still have his real dog tags. If you want me to, I'll uh, review him and I'll get to that some other time. So like I said, really love this figure. Um, just an excellent figure. Like I said, you know. So subscribe. Uh, check out my other videos, and uh, before I click off this video, I just want to say that uh, the Me on Vacation videos are still coming. I just want to post them before uh, the first day of autumn comes, because school is coming back for me. It's coming up for me again, and eventually I'm going to have to go back, so, you know. Anyway, this video is almost 20 minutes long. Uh, more videos coming soon. I'm gonna see if I can probably uh, get back to MKFM eventually. Just gotta dust off the old figures. And you know what I mean. I'll have to dust them off. But whatever. So, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and comment. And that's really it. So, peace out, you guys. Get this guy. It'll be good. Adios.